good morning and jai hind to all today we discuss a new chapter name inverse trigonometric function actually is a continuation of our first year to- topic trigonometry here first of all we discuss uh, principal range of inverse trigonometric function in the cbc new pattern says that uh, some of the portions on this chapter is deleted that is properties of inverse trigonometric functions are already deleted but uh, unfortunately in the section of differentiation we need such a portions also so here we uh, he discuss some uh, properties also that is but the proof of that other uh, type of problems are not necessary okay main portions included in this in this theory is principal range of inverse trigonometric function now we start the class i uh, under our first section uh, first chapter on our relations and function we already uh, discuss types of function that mean a function is to be bijective or invertible if it is one on and on to okay now we define a function f from r to r by f of x equal to sin x is a first trigonometric function is a clearly a function actually this function is defined on r to r is r is also r we define the function from f from r to r in set of all real numbers we do not the values in degree okay when value is zero then uh, 90 sorry minus 90 minus 180 minus 270 because negative real numbers are positive real numbers minus 360 minus 420 etc is a degree values you know 180 means pi pi means 3.14 is also real number the positive value is 90 then uh, 180 uh, 270 360 420 etc on second collection is also a set of all real numbers mid value is 0 here you collect uh, minus 1 here minus 2 etc here you select uh, plus 1 plus 2 etc there are lo- uh, infinite numbers are there between minus 1 and 1 etc okay you know the value of sin 0 is 0 and sin 90 is 1 sin minus 90 is minus 1 in a trigonometric function the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1 there are different values lying between -90 and 90 once substituting this value to the trigonometric function we get the answer is in between -1 and 1 have -90 to plus -90 to kudakkulla like degree values ella sin x nalla trigonometric function la substitute cheyumbo answer vandittu -1 to plus 1 nadakka irikku you know the value of sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin 60 is uh, sin 45 is 1 by root 2 is also in like between 0 and 1 sin 60 is uh, root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 similarly one negative values are okay okay that is in minus 90 to plus 90 the images are lying between minus 1 and 1 now then sin 90 1 then sin 180 sin 180 is 0 sin 270 is minus 1 again in minus 9 sorry plus 90 to 270 the images are lying between again minus 1 and 1 and 90 to minus 90 to plus 90 to the images minus 1 and plus 1 90 to 270 to the image minus 1 and plus 1 and like that similarly minus 270 minus 90 to minus 270 these images minus 90 images minus 1 Minus 180 images is 0. Minus 270 images is plus 1. Also, minus 90 to minus 270 to the values in the image, minus 1 and plus 1. You know, all real numbers, images lie in between minus 1 and plus 1. <coughs> 
clearly this is a function but is not one on and one to because you know suppose you take um, uh, uh, suppose you take a 90 images 90 is 1 images 90 is 1 and minus 270 is also image is 1 here you take x, x1 is equal to 90 and uh, x2 is equal to minus 270 f of x1 that is f of x1 means uh, sin 90 is equal to we get answer 1 f of x2 f of x2 means sin of minus 270 is equal to answer is plus 1 because sin minus theta okay minus sin theta that is minus sin 270 is 1 that means x1 is not equal to x2 implies f of x1 equal to f of x2 x1 is not equal to x2 implies f of x1 is equal to f of x2 that means our function is not 1 1 our function is not on also given function is not on because on the second set is a set of all real numbers there exist only images are minus 1 to 0 so minus 2 2 etc there are lot of infinite numbers uh, real numbers uh, there is no pre images for minus 2 is an element of r there is no pre images plus 2 is an element of r there is no pre image that means one function is not 1 1 and not if is not a 1 2 also that means one function is not bijective. One function is not bijective. If function bijective, I will function and inverse xt. That means this function, e case, function is not a bijective. That means inverse does not exist in this case. So we so we redefine our function as f from minus pi by 2, that is minus 92 plus 90 to minus 1 to 1 that means we select only minus 90 0 plus 90 here minus 1 0 and 1 here the image of minus 90 is minus 1 and image of 90 is 1 0 is 0 and there are infinite numbers are there uh, each degree value we get images that must be lying between minus and 90 and suppose we take a 30 degree answer is 1 by 2 45 1 by root 2 60 is 1 uh, root 3 by 2 etc that is he different elements has different images and each element of the second set has at least one pre image in the first set that means clearly this function is one one and one two if a function is defined from close interval minus pi by two to close interval uh, plus pi beta that is minus pi beta to plus pi beta to minus 1 to 1 for function f of x is equal to sin x in this case function is, function is 1 1 and 1 2 but if function f from r to r function function clearly there is a function but this is not 1 1 and 1 2 so if the function 1 1 and 1 2 we have a function the domain range name and reset in a reset team, our domain reset is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 to minus 1 to 1 set team. Clearly, this fun is a function, is a 1 1 function, is also a 1 2 function. That means this function here inverse exists. That is a function from minus 90 to plus 90 to minus 1 to 1. A function f of x define g is f of x equal to sin x define g is function is clearly 1 on and 1 2 and the inverse exists that means function is bijective at that time we we define an inverse function from minus 1 to 1 to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 we will create a reverse order of function create because our given function is 1 on and 1 2 so we define an inverse function from minus 1 to minus pi beta to plus pi beta. That inverse function is defined as f inverse x is equal to sin inverse x. Sin inverse x. Here is a domain, minus 1 to 1 is a domain, and this is called a, not a range, it's called a principal range. Because you know the, the set of all real numbers, we get a lot of uh, uh, portions that is minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, etc. All are the range, but our central value, central range that is minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, that range is called a principal range. 
In sine inverse x, the principal range value is minus pi by t2 plus pi t3. In this section, we need the principal range of each inverse trigonometry function. First of all, we define the principal value of sine inverse x is minus pi by t2 plus pi by t2. All of them try to by heart uh, principal range. Okay. First definition principal range. Principal range. Okay. First is sine inverse x. Our principal range. Principal range. Sine inverse x principal range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Second inverse trigonometry function. Similarly, we can find the principal range of cos inverse x also. Similarly, you by heart this formula, that is enough. Uh, proof is not necessary. Uh, cos inverse x principal range is 0 to pi. Cos inverse x principal range is 0 to pi. Then tan inverse x principal range of tan inverse x. You can easily by heart this portion. Um, we connect it with the co function. You know the uh, sine co complementary function. Sin Sine complementary is cos and cos complementary is sine. Tan complementary function is cot and cot complementary function is tan because tan 90 minus theta cot, cot 90 minus theta. And sec cos complementary function is cosec and cosec com complementary function is sec. Using this correlation, you can by heart this formula easily. Okay. For sin inverse x principal range is clause interval minus pi vt plus pi vt. Cos inverse x principal range is clause interval 0 pi. Okay, next tan inverse x, then we collect you use open interval. Open interval minus pi by t2 plus pi by t. Using this principal range, we can easily by this range. Open here you use clause interval, here is open interval. Then cot inverse x. Therefore, open interval 0 pi. Tan inverse x principal range is open interval minus pi beta plus pi beta. Cot inverse x range is open interval 0 pi. Then similarly, cos cosec inverse x. Cosec inverse x. Here cosec inverse, you know, sin inverse x principal range is minus pi by t2 plus pi by 2 minus the middle value. Middle value means 0. Avoid the uh, degree value 0. That is the principal range of cosec inverse x. Sin inverse x principal range in them 0 minus either the cosec inverse x in the principal range. And similarly, last principal range is sec inverse x. 0 pi is the cos inverse x principal range minus the middle value is pi by 2. 0 to pi middle value by 90 minus sec inverse x the principal value. Okay, first of all, you by heart this principal range is very important uh, for finding the values of inverse trigonometry function. Easily we find using this technique co related co functions. Okay. Sin inverse x principal range minus pi by 2 cos central minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 cos inverse x range is 0 first you by heart these two uh, range then, uh, then all other four are easily we find tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 cot inverse x is open interval 0 pi then cosec inverse x is cos interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 minus the middle value 0 sec inverse x is cos interval 0 pi minus the middle value pi by 2 okay For, first of all you by heart these four less. Now, uh, we uh, remember some uh, values of some, uh, some trigonometry function. You already know the values of some trigonometry function, sin, cos and tan. Okay, sin x, cos x and tan x. 0, um, 30. 30 means pi by 180 by 6. Pi by 6, 45. That is pi by 4. 60 is pi by 3 and 90 radian conversion pi by 2. You know value sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2, sin 45 1 by root 2 is root 3 by 2, sin 90 is 1. This is already learned in the first year class and this is in reverse order we get a cos value that is 1 and root 3 by 2 cos 45 1 by root 2 then 1 by 2 and 0. Now tan 0 by 1 is 0. 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2, root 2, 2 cancel, we get answer 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 is we get answer 1. Root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 is again we get answer root 3. And 1 by 0 is not defined. Okay. These are also very important for finding uh, the principal range of sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, cosec, sec and uh, cot inverse x. Okay.
So first, uh, uh, you must be uh, by heart this values also. Okay, using this uh, concept, I mean principal value branch and uh, uh, values of this trigonometry function, uh, we get to some problems. Okay, our first question: Find the principal values of y is equal to sine inverse one by two. There are different steps are used for finding the values. It's not necessary because it's only one, uh, one mark question or two mark question. It's only so clearly it's one mark question. You know, sine inverse 1 by 2. You already know sine inverse 1 by 2. You know, uh, 0, 30. Uh, 30 means pi by 6. 45. That is pi by 4. 60. Uh, pi by 3 and 90 pi by 2 you know the sine value is 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 sine 90 is 1 on cos value 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 and last tan 0 1 by root 3 1 root 3 and uh, not defined the value of sine inverse 1 by 2 is clear. Sin by sin, which, in which value sin value is 1 by 2? That is 30 degree. Convert into radian 30 degree that is. Answer is pi by 6. The principal value of sin inverse 1 by 2. Answer is pi by 6. It's very easy. Now the second question. Cos inverse 1 by root 2. You already know. Cos inverse 1 by root 2. Cos 1 by root 2 correspond to which value? That is degree is 45 degree. That is radian conversion pi by 4. Then y is equal to sec inverse sec inverse 2. Y is equal to sec inverse 2. You know the reciprocal relation. That means sec inverse the relation you know sec inverse x is equal to 1 by cos. Here the inverse not a function. Sec inverse 2 can be expressed as cos inverse 1 by 2. Sec inverse 2 can be expressed as cos inverse reciprocal 1 by 2 angle the values uh, you take the reciprocal is value that is equal to you know cos inverse 1 by 2 cos value 1 by 2 is in 60 degree that is pi by 3 is pi by 3 it's very easy easily we find okay we find one more question tan inverse root 3 tan inverse root 3 tan root 3 correspond to which which degree pi by 3 degree the value of tan inverse root 3 answer is pi by 3 it's very easy okay but the principal value clearly you know the you find the values are lying in between the principal value that is uh, sin inverse 1 by 2 we get answer pi by 6 you know is an element of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 in the principal value is 90 minus 90 to plus 90 pi by 6 is lying between minus 90 to plus 90 then pi by 4 is an element of cos value is in 0 pi. Then pi by 3, pi by 3, seek, they mean cos inverse 1 by 2. Cos is in the element of 0 pi. Or uh, uh, seek uh, corresponding to or uh, seek inverse of cos inverse converter or seek inverse of uh, uh, seek inverse x correspond to the principal value is 0 pi minus pi by 2. Or 0 pi minus pi by 2. Okay, then um, tan inverse root 3, tan inverse root 3, tan value is in open interval, is an element of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Okay, that means you find the values must be lying in between the principal value, that's sure. Okay, here we buy have some extra formula, that is, first is, Next is a note, you note the point, sin inverse minus x, sin inverse minus x is equal to, answer is minus sin inverse x, proof are not needed. Then cos inverse minus x, answer is pi minus cos inverse x, okay, sin inverse minus x is minus sin inverse x and cos inverse minus x is pi minus cos inverse x. Then tan inverse minus x, answer is minus tan inverse x. And uh, cot inverse minus x, answer is pi minus 
cot inverse x. Okay, using this formula, we automatically we get, uh, if, we, if uh, suppose we have a negative value, then the answer is going to be This formula is going to be directed to the answer complete data, principal value, and the answer complete data. That's the range. Then we reset the answer by the formula. Then uh, cosec inverse minus x. Cosec inverse minus x equal to use the same, same to first, that is minus cosec inverse x. Then sec inverse minus x. Sec inverse minus x is pi minus sec inverse x. Using co function easily we buy this formula. Sin cos related. Sin inverse minus x minus sin inverse x. Cos inverse minus x pi minus cos inverse x. Similarly tan inverse minus, minus tan inverse x. Cot inverse minus pi minus cot inverse x. Cosec, minus in, cosec inverse minus x minus cosec inverse x and sec inverse minus x, pi minus. Using this formula, we can find the values of x. So that must, must be lying in the given principal range. Automatically, we are. Otherwise, it is very, very, very difficult to find the principal value. Neg negative case. Okay. Let's do one more question. Find the principal value of cos inverse minus 1 by 2. Find the principal value of cos inverse minus 1 by 2. Using that formula, easily we find, you know, cos inverse minus x formula is pi minus cos inverse x. That is, first of all, you write pi minus cos inverse 1 by 2. That is equal to pi minus, you know, cos 1 by 2. Which angle, uh, you get a cos 1 by 2, cos 1 by 2, 30, 40, 5 or 60 is 60 degree. 60 degree means pi by 3. That is equal to 3 pi minus pi, we get answer 2 pi by 3. That's all. Cos inverse minus 1 by 2, answer is 2 pi by 3. Okay. Y is equal to sin inverse minus 1 by root 2. It is clearly slicing between 0 to pi. Okay. It is an element of 0 pi. It is an element of 0 pi. Okay. Then y is equal to sin inverse minus 1 by root 2. Sin inverse minus 1 by root 2. You know sin inverse minus x minus sin inverse x is minus sin inverse 1 by root 2. Is equal to minus sin 1 by root 2 corresponding to which angle 45. That is radian is pi by 4. Clearly this value is lying between the principal range minus pi by 2 to minus clause central minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. That's all we get answer. Minus pi by 4 is the principal value of sin inverse minus 1 by root 2. Now discuss one more question. Tan inverse minus 1. You know tan inverse minus x for is minus tan inverse 1 that is minus tan inverse 1. Tan 1 corresponds to which value? 45. Tan 40, you know tan 45 is 1 and therefore here the angle is 45 degree that is pi by 4 minus pi by 4. Clearly minus pi by 4 is an element of open interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 to minus pi by 4. Our principal value of tan is minus 1 is answer is minus pi by 4. This is very easy portion. Okay. Now, discuss some extra question. Find the value of find the value of tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2. Okay, tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse. Using sec inverse 2, you, 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 you can find easily. Very easily you find uh, first of all you convert sec inverse to cos inverse. That is easy, uh, clearly we know the values of cos. Okay. You know, sec inverse x is equal to cos inverse. That is sin inverse x is equal to cosec inverse 1 by x, the reciprocal relation. You saw already uh, in the trigonometry function, you know the reciprocal relation. Using that relation, we write sin inverse x equal to cosec inverse 1 by x. Cos inverse x is equal to sec inverse 1 by x. And tan inverse x is also equal to reciprocal cot inverse 1 by x. Also sec inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 by x also. And the cot inverse x is tan inverse 1 by x. Okay. Then sec inverse minus 2 is cos inverse minus 1 by 2. It's reciprocal. Reciprocal of minus 2 is minus 1 by 2. Angled reciprocal. That is equal to, you know, tan inverse root 3. Tan root 3 corresponds to which angle? Pi, uh, 30, 45 or 60 is correspond to 60. 60 correspond to pi by 3 minus of cos inverse minus x for is pi minus cos that is pi minus 
cos inverse 1 by 2 that is equal to pi by 3 minus pi minus cos 1 by 2 correspond to which angle cos 1 by 2 1 by 2 corresponding to 60 degrees 60 degree means pi by 3 that is equal to pi by 3 minus 3 pi minus pi 2 pi by 3 is equal to we get answer minus pi by 3. The value of tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2. Answer is minus pi by 3. By heart this result also. Okay. So, tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2. Answer is minus pi by 3. Okay. I will do one more question. Similar to this type. Tan inverse. Find the value of tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse cos inverse minus 1 by 2 plus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 plus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 okay you already know tan inverse 1 tan uh, tan value 1 now on the other angle pi by 4 that is pi by 4 here cos inverse minus x formula is pi minus cos inverse that is pi minus cos inverse 1 by 2 plus you, are, you already know sin inverse minus x correspond to minus sin inverse that is minus sin inverse 1 by 2 that is equal to pi by 4 plus pi minus cos 1 by 2 cos is the angle of 1 by 2 on the 30 45 60 that is 60 60 on pi by 3 minus plus into minus minus sin 1 by 2 correspond to 30 degree 30 degree of pi by 6 that is equal to pi by 4 plus 3 pi minus pi that is 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6. Here 4, 3, 6, LC, that is LCM is 12. You re, uh, reset denominator 12, that is multiplying 3 on numerator and denominator, that is 3 pi by 12 plus 4 into that is 8 pi by 12. And multiply numerator and denominator by 2, we get answer minus 2 pi by 12. That is common denominator is 12. And 3, 8 pi minus 2 pi is 6 pi, 6 into 3, 6 plus 3 is 9 pi is equal to, we get answer 3 pi by 4. That's all. The value of tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus 1 by 2 plus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 answer is 3 pi by 4. Okay. We'll do one more question similar to this type. Find the value of, find the value of sin of pi by 3 minus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 pi by 3 minus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 find the value of sin of pi by 3 minus sin inverse minus 1 by 2 is equal to sin of pi by 3 minus you know sin inverse minus x minus sin inverse x minus or minus plus sin inverse 1 by 2 is equal to sin of pi by 3 plus sin 1 by 2 correspond to 30 degree that is pi by 6 okay that is equal to sin of 30 plus 60 that is pi by 2 is equal to the value of sin 90 and so become 1 that is sin of pi by 3 minus sin versus 1 by minus 1 by 2 and so become 1 okay okay i'll do one more question sin of sin of pi by 6 minus sin inverse minus root 3 by 2 is equal to sin of pi by 6 plus because sin, sin inverse minus 6 minus minus or minus plus sin inverse root 3 by 2 is similar to the last type question okay this is pi by 6 plus you know sin root 3 by 2 correspond to 60 that is pi by 3 pi by 3 plus pi by 6 is 9 90 and the answer is 1 okay this is similar to last question okay we'll do one more question similar to this type of that is cos of cos of cos inverse minus root 3 by 2 cos of cos inverse minus root 3 by 2 plus pi by 6 cos of cos inverse minus root 3 by 2 plus pi by 6 that is cos of you know cos inverse minus x is pi minus cos inverse x that is pi minus cos inverse root 3 by 2 plus pi by 6 is equal to cos of pi minus root 3 by 2 correspond to 30 degree 30 degree means pi by 6 that is pi by 6 plus pi by 6 
here pi by 6 pi by 6 cancel and therefore cos pi the value of cos pi that's all today's class now i will give some uh, homework question uh, in our uh, group uh, class group we will try to answer this question and uh, if you have any doubt please clarify it through my whatsapp uh, that's all